I'm gonna turn a matcha drinker into a cappuccino drinker today, so let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first you need good milk. Malk is a really good one, not an ad, although if they want to send me a box, I totally take it. It has literally nothing but filtered water, organic gluten-free oats, and salt. No gums, no additives. Love this. So I'm really into organic coffee now because I'm just trying to be healthy. This is the one that I love so much. Brand work, organic black coffee. This is my coffee machine. <laughs> I'm making a double shot because we're gonna split. You have to put 30 pounds of weight on it is what they say, but I never really do that, I feel. And then you lock it in. Cute cups, duh. You wanna make sure this is really hot. By the way, I had it on for like 15 minutes, but usually like five to 10 minutes. Ready? This is something I didn't know before, but you want to let the water out and let it start steaming before you actually steam the milk. Otherwise, you're just going to get a bunch of water in your milk. So you can't just leave your milk alone. You have to actually like play with it a little bit so that it's nice and frothy all around, not just the top. You want to mix it and just like froth it slowly. Look at the frothiness. You definitely want to do that because that settles the bubbles. The key is to go very slowly. I can't do a heart, so sorry guys. And that's it. Cheers.